Today we're going to be talking about detachment. If this interests you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and I try to help you navigate your spiritual awakening while living your everyday normal life. If this interests you, hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. I need to get comfortable. Oh God. Ugh. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, she's struggling today. So today we're going to be talking about detachment. This has been a theme that's been going on in my life lately. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys and remind you that perhaps you should think about this topic as well. And I'm not on my camera, I'm on my phone. And so please forgive me that it's wobbly. <laughs> it just is what it is. So I would say a month or so ago, we were sitting at the table and my daughter, Anella, gave me a tarot reading and she was talking about how all of the cards and everything Spirit was telling her was about detachment, how I need to practice detachment more. And I'm like, hmm, wonder what they mean by that. And then it came up again and then it came up again. Then I was thinking about this low spend year that I'm doing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link to the video below where I talked about how I'm doing a low spend year this year in 2022 with the main goal of being able to pay off a large loan that I have. So I was sitting here thinking about different ways that I can like make this happen faster and you know, my car payment was due in a couple of days and my car payment besides my mortgage is the biggest expense I have because when I used to commute to work every day and I would spend between one and three hours each way, depending on traffic in my car, I wanted a nice car, I wanted it comfortable, I wanted all the bells and whistles. Well, now I work from home and I never leave my house. <laughs> that car sits in the garage all the time and I'm paying a big car payment and a lot of insurance because I used to also have a teenager that was on my insurance who had a couple of accidents and whatnot. And so my insurance, it's not high, but it was like $120 a month. And for one single middle-aged woman, it shouldn't be that high. Anyways, I was like, man, if I didn't have that car payment, I would be so much better off. Man, I wish I could get that car payment paid off. And then the thought came in my mind, Spomi was like, you should get rid of your car. And I'm like, get rid of my car? Are you crazy? I can't get rid of my car. And he's like, why not? And I'm like, could I get rid of my car? And so I went on to Carvana just to test the waters. This is not sponsored. This is just my real life experience. So I went onto Carvana's website just to test the waters and I put in the information to sell my car and they came back with, yes, we will pay off your car and you'll have a little bit of change left in your pocket at the end also. And I'm like, oh my gosh, could I get away with just getting rid of my car? And then I started going into this tailspin that now I I can see was attachment. And that's exactly what they were talking about. I'm like, I can't go without a car. I started having all these fearful scenarios play out in my head. Like, what if my kids have an emergency? What if they reach out and they're like, mom, I need help. Like, I have no way to get to you. Am I going to be able to get an Uber? Am I going to have to have somebody drive me? I can't be a 49-year-old woman without a car, without a means of reliable transportation, what would that say about me? And so I was talking, I kind of sent out a little tester feeler message to the people close to me. And I'm like, I'm considering doing this. Do you think I'm crazy? And every one of them, except for one, except for my one little negative Nancy daughter, um, not Anella, but Courtney, 
everybody else was like, no, that's not crazy at all. You never go anywhere. And if you do, you're usually in someone else's car anyways. So why not? That's not crazy. If you need a ride, you can always get Uber or one of us will drive you. And I'm like, because seriously, like I never leave the house. And if I do, it's usually Fred takes me to dinner or um, whatever, you know. And so then Anella says, um, I think that this is playing into the theme of detachment that they wanted to talk to you about a few weeks ago. And I'm like, you know what? I think you're right. And so when I ran it by Courtney, she's like, what? Are you crazy? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I would expect that from her. Um, she's a December Capricorn. I'm a January Capricorn. We're both very practical and like pragmatic and like you should have a car. Everyone else was like, that's a great idea. And finally, I just took the leap. And I was like, all right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And so the other day, what's today? Today is Thursday. Last Saturday, I sold my car to Carvana and it is gone. And um, I feel like I have everywhere in the world I want to go right now and I can't. <laughs> At least not without spending money on an Uber or something. But that's just because my ego is rebelling a little bit against my decision, I think. But overall, I feel so light and free and like I made the right decision. And um, the thing is that I can change my mind at any time. I could buy another car today if I wanted to. Shoot, I could go on to most websites and you can order a car to be delivered to your home these days. You don't even have to go buy one. But... um yeah, so I can change my mind. So it's not like I'm stuck, but just taking that initial leap of detachment, it's like it freed something up inside of me. This just reinforced to me the importance of detachment in all kinds of areas. Like you should never get too attached to your story, your history, the things in your life, the people in your life and relationships. I'm not saying that you shouldn't value them and you shouldn't love these people. But what I'm saying is that when you know something's not right and you're afraid to walk away, and so you stay there where you shouldn't be, or you tend to hoard things or hold on to things because you're afraid to get rid of them, energy becomes stagnant and it becomes stuck. And you kind of prohibit spirit from flowing and from working magic in your life you don't let the universe come to your rescue god has no space to move you know the universe abhors a, a vacuum and so like get rid of something it's going to send something better to replace it right i knew that the theme of this year for me was balance getting back into balance but i guess it's also detachment and so i have been and so my mind has been greatly open to that since I took that first step last weekend. Because usually the first step is the hardest. Letting go of that first thing is the hardest. And this was a big thing. Um, but it's valuable. There's value in that lesson. And I think if we all also learn the lesson. Thank you, Spomi. This just came to me. So if we all also start detaching, things tend to stick around better because of law of attraction. If you're clutching onto something because you're afraid to let go, you're going to have this fear of lack, fear of being without that thing. And what's going to happen is that the thing's going to go away potentially because law of attraction your energy is saying lack of this thing, so you're gonna have lack of that thing, or it's going to repel that person, like you're just too clingy, you're too tight. Whereas if you're just comfortable and casual and know that you're gonna be okay no matter what happens, and that if this thing goes, another one's coming, you're probably gonna be way more satisfied with the outcomes.
I hope all of this made sense because I'm kind of rambling here, but it made sense in my brain. <laughs> so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any comments, if you agree with this, if you disagree with this, let me know. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, please. It helps me so much and helps get the channel spread. YouTube's been like being stingy with my videos lately. They've not been recommending them to people. My subscribership and viewership has gone down because YouTube is just not putting the videos out there. So if you wouldn't mind interacting with this video, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.